On behalf of Esferamed International, what you are about to see is the critical difference of an emergency medical situation, first without and then with adequate healthcare information technology, or in other words, IT. This first situation dramatically demonstrates the professional frustration of not having adequate and accessible medical information on a patient. We are in route, about six minutes out. How you doing, Mr. Bergen? Are you feeling any chest pains at all? No. Okay, good. Are you still feeling lightheaded? What? I'm a little dizzy. My heart is racing. Do you know if your father has any history of heart disease? No, no, Dad. Any, any heart problems before? I, um, maybe I'm his doctor to get him to stop smoking. Do you know when? Um, Dad, when did you stop smoking? Well, I was ready to. He's always been stubborn. I, I don't know, maybe maybe five years ago? I'm sorry, my mother knew all this stuff, but she, she passed away a year ago, so... Is this Mr. Bergen? Yeah, atrial fib, rate approximately 130. BP 135 over 90, O2 sat 89%. Sorry, what? Saturation, 89%. He still reports feeling shortness of breath. Okay, let's get him into room two. Any meds? No, no, he's visiting from Seattle. This is his daughter, Karen. Karen, hi, I'm Anna Lopez. Do you know, is your dad taking any medication? I think that he's uh, taking something for his heart, but I don't know, there may be others too, and um, he must have left him at home in, in Seattle. Okay, you know what, doctor's on his way. Let's just see what he has to say, and don't worry, your dad's in good hands. So what's the story? He's an atrial fib. He's mm -hmm. got a heart rate about 120, 130. His blood pressure is about 120 over 70. Okay. Um, no information yet on meds or allergies. Okay. And that's the start. Okay. Now you see what you have here is a situation of a doctor that does not have complete information on a patient. What the hell are you asking me that for? Mm. Has anything like this ever happened before? Uh, last two weeks, a couple times I was short of breath and a little dizzy. But like this. Okay. Um, listen to his heart. Okay. Has anyone ever mentioned that you have a heart murmur? Oh, yeah, but they said it wasn't anything serious. Okay, did you see a heart specialist? Okay, did the specialist mention mitral stenosis? Yeah, might have. Okay. Are you taking a blood thinner? Oh, I take a heart pill. Okay, do you remember what it's called? Huh. Did you have rheumatic fever as a child? I don't know. That was a long time ago. Okay. Any idea? No. I'm sorry, I don't know. Is there anyone that we can call? That, uh, do you remember your doctor's name? No. Never see the same doctor twice. He's probably in pulmonary edema. I don't want to risk cardioverting until we find out if he's ever been in atrial fib before and is anticoagulated. I hate to knock a clot loose and give him a stroke. God, I sure wish we had his history. This is what happens with incomplete medical information on a patient. Now the next situation is the same emergency, but with a lot of additional IT information. How you doing, Mr. Bergen? Are you having any chest pains at all? No. Okay, good. Are you still feeling lightheaded? What? I'm a little dizzy. Okay, try to relax. We're going to be there in a few minutes. Now, here's the patient's medical record with uh, adequate information to do a diagnosis and to know the situation of this patient. Karen, hi, Anna Lopez. Do you know if your father took his Coumadin today? I don't know because he doesn't have any pills with him. Okay. Can I stay with my dad? Absolutely. Go right ahead. Hi, I'm his daughter, Karen. Hi, Karen. I'm Dr. Sung. Thank Excuse you for me. being here. You bet. Hi, Mr. Bergen. I'm Dr. Sung. How are you feeling? Not too good. Has anything like this ever happened before? Uh, last two weeks. A couple times I was short of breath and a little dizzy, but not like this. Okay, let me take a listen. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay. Well, it looks like you've developed an abnormal heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation. That's why your chest feels like it's pounding, causing the fluid to back up into your lungs, so you're short of breath too. You just try to relax. 
will get your heart beating normally and you should feel better in no time. Okay, uh, let's get him some deltaism, 15 milligram IV over two minutes. Uh, you doing okay? I'm okay. Okay, let's go over here and talk. Well, your father's fine for now. We're taking care of his breathing problems and a regular heartbeat. Okay. I'd like to watch him here tonight and do some further tests tomorrow. Tests? Well, one of his heart valves was damaged by rheumatic fever in childhood. And over the years, it's gotten worse. That's probably what's causing his symptoms. I'd like to do an ultrasound and some other tests to look at the valve and see if it needs to be replaced. What, you mean heart surgery? Let's see what the ultrasound shows. And then now, we'll with a proper electronic for. medical record, you know, this is a good the thing doctor here. has all the information he needs to do a proper diagnosis. Okay, Here's another situation without proper and complete information technology does it get worse when he lies down no i don't think so okay i'll check with the doctor thank you dr keller hi it's paula in telemetry calling about mr bergen he looks pale and his daughter said he's short of breath okay what's the status on his tests Test film's been done, but uh, I don't see the report yet. How's the CKG? He's a uh, here you have a situation where medical records are still on paper. In spite of the fact that they have a fair amount of technology, the medical records are coming in on paper. Very limited access to the doctors and the health care professionals. No. What's his hematocrit? Mm -hmm. The lights are normal, hematocrit. I can't find a lab slip. Okay. This is a situation of an electronic now. medical record that is not integrated by a system that integrates it all. We're going to need to transfuse him with two units of packed cells. The last thing he needs is a sudden MI. Absolutely. I need to give you a transfusion, Mr. Bergen, to get your red blood cell count up. Just relax. You'll be feeling better in no time. Hey. Is there some reason why you haven't started this yet? Just waiting for Emilio to finish up so he can help me sign off on it. Right. Okay, Bergen Leo, medical record number 452905. Excuse me, um, after two units are in, can you repeat? This is a situation yeah. with a lack of coordination, sure. simply because there's not an integrated electronic medical record. Medical record number 45. Now, this is the same situation, but with additional electronic medical information. This is a medical electronic tablet, which is similar to a laptop, but is smaller and lighter for the convenience of doctors and nurses. It collects and displays medical information and is integrated with the Open Vista electronic medical record. It's important to see how the information is passed between the nurse and the doctor to care for the patient. They're online. Good. But he's still reporting shortness of breath. Now, through the electronic medical record and an integrated system, they can communicate using the same information. Temperature, normal. Nothing abnormal on his x-ray. This demonstrates the increase in efficiency. His information is transmitted electronically. Yes. Can you redress his wound and let his daughter know what's going on? Sure. Thanks. I'll be back after rounds. In order to eliminate the right, critical risk factor of set, human error, you'll notice that the medical tablet going. also reads barcode Just information sure on the patient's wrist here. and also Blood on the patient's right. medication. Eight. We're good to go. As you can see, not only does this electronic tablet read barcodes, but it even keeps a photographic record which can be captured and entered into the electronic medical record. This is an additional situation involving an elderly patient who has an important electronic device on her wrist that will provide critical information to healthcare professionals that could actually save her life.
Paramedics, Mrs. Walters. Critical medical data is transmitted from the device on this patient's wrist to the handheld electronic display, which can later be integrated into the electronic medical record. Okay, her syncap history is clear. Let's give her 100 milligrams of lidocaine. Okay, the lidocaine's on board. Tubes in. Let's check one time. Okay. Have good breast sounds bilaterally. Mrs. Walters, if you could hear me, squeeze my hand. I think she's starting to respond. Now we're going to see a demonstration of how the electronic medical record, which integrates everything, a system, open vista, which will integrate all the imaging and all the things we've been watching. This brings it all together. Uh, this is Frank Mattel. Okay. So we just selected. And now we're on the cover sheet, which gives us the fact that he's had diverticulosis. That may be what he, where he's pulling oh, wow. again. Right here, the doctors can pull up the electronic medical record, which has integrated all the inputs from various devices and various uh, healthcare professionals into one electronic medical record integrated so the doctors can see the whole picture. And that is what Open Vista does. You see, back in 1993, he had a very, very bad episode. Now, along with the bad episode, we noticed that uh, in 1993, there are some uh, pieces of information over here. The, uh, uh, his colonoscopy and, uh, we're You'll at notice that the Open Vista uh, medical record sure. not only integrates uh, all the patient's historical medical uh, information, including detailed graphics mm -hmm. and, and imaging, a, uh, to more effectively uh, evaluate the patient's that medical condition. It is an arteriogram, uh -huh. and uh, we can make that larger. Can look around, I see something up in this mag view here. But uh, I think I probably need to change the leveling. Notice there's a little bit oh, of yeah. bleeding probably way out here in the uh, colon consistent with this diverticulosis. Uh -huh. And uh, I think that may well be what's going on now. Uh, I think probably the best thing for you to do is, uh, is order a uh, nuclear uh, scan since he is okay. actively bleeding. We can take advantage of that now. Uh, radiology orders, select nuclear medicine, and then many of the nuclear medicine studies are already listed ahead. We'll go down to gastrointestinal and uh, notice that there is a gastrointestinal bleeding study back in particular patient. Okay, great. Hold perfectly still. Can't bump anything here. Okay, I'm going to get this over the area of your heart. Now, this is new information We're coming in that right will be integrated into the electronic medical record through the processes of sure Open do Vista. Not move. Hey, Elliot. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Is this the GI bleeder that's in the emergency room? This is. There's um, blood all across the uh, proximal um, colon. So, indeed, this is positive. The patient is actively bleeding. And our best bet, looking at the early images and the cine images, it looks as though it's in the proximal to mid-transverse colon. Great. Thanks, Elliot. I'll get the GI fellows to scope. Yeah. This uh, patient apparently bled about five years ago. Some more pressure here. Let's take a look and see what we can figure out. Um, I guess at this point we're looking for things like diverticuli, mass lesions, arterial venous malformations, although my understanding was that his previous studies uh, really didn't show very much, so it's unlikely that in those years uh, he, it would be a malignant a malignancy at this point. Uh, okay, Dr. Kai, you capture that image. It looks like we've got uh, active bleeding going on here in the lower colon. Why don't you just uh, freeze that? Okay, got it. Okay, I think that'll that'll prove useful. It looks pretty good. There's some uh, blood in the field right there. Uh, you okay. agree? And we All these images can be integrated into the electronic medical blood. record and be available for review and evaluation by the proper health care professionals. We're trying to figure out whether we should uh, do an angiogram. So I, I thought I'd, you know, ask, see what you thought about it. Well, uh, you've given me the facts that this is the second uh, episode of his lower GI bleed. Looking from the same site, um, I would... Uh, 
consider the possibility of angiogram, but perhaps uh, even surgery as a first option. Well, he's doing uh, much better. He did have chest pain when he first came in, but as you can see from the electrocardiogram that we've now gotten, it is quite similar to his previous tracings. Uh, we also see his old uh, uh, colonoscopy, and you can see that he did have quite a bit of bleeding uh, and uh, had a marked hematocrit drop uh, in, in 1993, which seems to be the same now. He's dropping uh, well, so uh, as low as Through the electronic medical record, the doctors then can now see everything that took place as you can see, with this patient. performed a selective SMA injection. I think we can probably best see it on the Cine loop images on the Vista-Rad system. And when I Cine the images, you can actually we'll include see activity the from the pharmacy, from the laboratory, and, um, from you can see the, the images that are taken, so the and other hospital activities related to this patient. This information lets many specialists act as a team with all the information needed for patient care at their fingertips. In addition to patients' records, clinicians have access to a wide variety of information, including breaking developments in medical care, medical journals, and practice guidelines. The VISTA imaging system allows clinicians and consultants to access images from other hospitals and medical care centers using the VA's wide area network. This can make critical information available in urgent situations and can reduce unnecessary patient admissions and repeat examinations. Standards allow full integration of information from a large variety of sources, including hospital information systems, order entry systems, DICOM compliant radiology equipment, commercial EKG systems, and other medical image producing devices. In summary, OpenVista is a state-of-the-art, fully integrated electronic medical record system that is more affordable and fully integrates all functions of any medical facility so as to increase quality and safety while reducing costs and, most importantly, saving lives. Millions of dollars and years of experience went into its development. This is the beginning of a medical revolution.